Hey everybody, in this video we are going to learn how to make boxes in two-point perspective. So to get started, we are going to kind of get the drift of how things work in two-point perspective. So as the name implies, two-point perspective means there's two vanishing points. So we are going to um, be seeing things that are kind of like from a corner. So, you know, in one point perspective, it's like we're looking down the street and things all kind of vanish to that one point. Whereas in two point perspective, it's like we're standing kind of kitty corner across the street, looking down two different streets. So we're kind of looking at an object from the side just a little bit, like at a corner. Um, so that's kind of the primary difference between one point perspective and two point perspective. So clearly, yes, there's two vanishing points as compared to one, but it's all in just kind of the angle at which you are viewing those objects. So to get started drawing, what we're going to do is start with our horizon line. And we need two vanishing points. Now, along the lines of vanishing points is the closer you put the two vanishing points together, everything has to stay in between those two vanishing points. So it gets really difficult to fill up your whole page with stuff if your vanishing points are next to one another. Uh, so we want them way off to the sides. Um, sometimes, like if you really want to get into it, you can attach other pieces of paper, just tape it on off the sides of your page and bring your horizon line and your vanishing points way off the sides of your paper. That way you can fill up your page even more. But so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm not going to fill up the whole page. But I'm going to put two vanishing points on the edges of my page. Um, obviously I could go further, but just so you can see them, I'm going to put them here. Now, when we start with one point perspective, we start with just drawing the front face of the shape. But because in two point perspective, we are looking at um, the corner of an object, then what you're going to start with is actually just a line. So I'm going to start by drawing a line on the horizon. So just like in one point perspective, when an object is on the horizon line, we're only going to see two sides because it's both above and below. It's right in front of our eyes. So we won't be able to see the top or bottom of it. And what we're going to do from this point is the top and the bottom of our line are going to connect to each vanishing point. So I'm going to create some converging lines. So remember converging lines are lines that go from the edges of an object to the vanishing point, meaning they converge or come together at the vanishing point. It's important to draw these things lightly when you begin because you're going to be erasing the majority of these lines. So if you draw them too dark, you're going to have a ton of ghost marks left over and you probably won't like it. It won't look very good. So now I have my converging lines drawn and from here I need to make the back edges of my object. So to create the back edges I need to create a parallel line that is parallel to this first line that I drew. So I'm going to take my ruler, I'm going to line it up with this line and then slide it straight back. I can just decide how far back I want this line to go or how shallow I want it to be, it's entirely up to me. So once I find a place that I like and I ensure that my line is in fact parallel, so they're going the same direction, they'll never touch, then I will draw my parallel line. So there's one side, now we'll do the same on the other side. And we'll slide it straight back. And I am actually going to just draw on the other side of this ruler here. There we go. So here is the basis of our first 
box in two point perspective. Now the rest of it is erasing. So I'll speed up that part. All right, so we have our first box in two point perspective. Now, if we want to be above the horizon line, um, just keep in mind that we're looking up at it. So our horizon line is at eye level. So when anything is above it, that means we are looking up at it. So when we see something that is above the horizon line, we'll be able to see three sides. We'll see the two sides and then we'll see the bottom because we're looking up at it. So the same principle for getting started as we did here, we'll connect the top and the bottom of this line to our two vanishing points. Okay, from here, we need to start making the parallel lines to the sides. So same steps as this first one. So converging lines, then parallel lines. So I'll line my ruler up here and I'm going to slide it until I feel like it's a good depth and draw my parallel line. Again, when we're doing parallel lines, make sure you resist the urge to tilt your ruler. So you want it to stay parallel to the edge. Um, a cheap way to do it is to just line up your ruler and draw on the other side of it. Um, but that doesn't always work out. Sometimes it does. Okay, so from here, we need to make the bottom of the box. So what we are going to do is create converging lines from the corners where these points intersect, so here and here, and they're going to go to the opposite vanishing points. So they're going to cross over each other, going to the opposite vanishing points, and where they cross over is going to be the back corner of the box. So let's connect those converging lines. All right. So this space right here is the underside of the box. So what I can do now is erase all these extra converging lines. Okay, so now we have a box above the horizon, so let's make one below the horizon. The same concept applies as the box above the horizon. Um, we're just looking down at it instead of looking up at it. So we are still going to see the three sides and we're still going to use the same concept. So we're going to go start with our vertical line and then we're going to connect the top and the bottom to our vanishing points. Okay, from here we'll do our parallel lines. And then again, just like we did with this box where our converging line meets our parallel lines at the top, we are going to go to the opposite vanishing points with converging lines. And a quick note about this one, you may notice that this converging line goes through my other box. Um, you do not need to draw all the way to the vanishing point if you know that your ruler meets at the vanishing point. So I can actually just stop right here. I don't even need to draw the whole thing um, because I know that it goes all the way there. Um, that'll save you some erasing later on and kind of make your life a little bit easier. Um, just the key thing you need to be aware of is to make sure that your converging line always goes to your vanishing point. Because if it's not going to a vanishing point, then it's not in perspective. So right here, I've got my finished box. So now all I need to do is just erase my extra converging lines. All right, so I've got three boxes here. Um, maybe if we want to make some more interesting shapes, maybe we have boxes coming out of boxes or stuff going inside. Let's play around with that. So maybe I want to create another shape coming out of this box up here. Um, what I would do 
I think to get started is figure out where the back of that piece would be. So I'm just going to draw a quick line here, make sure it's parallel. All right, and then I'm going to create parallel lines. I'm creating converging lines here from the top and the bottom. So I'm going to make like a little opening, I think. And then another parallel line to make the back side here. Okay, so now if this were like a cube going inside of this, what I'm going to do is take this corner and line it up with the opposite vanishing point and go across here like that. So now we have kind of this little opening here. Um, the other corners we wouldn't see because there'd be, you know, behind all these lines. So we wouldn't see anything there. So yeah, we just have this little opening. I can shade it and make it look a little bit darker as it goes in. That might help make it look a little more three-dimensional. Okay, so there's an opening. Um, we can make a protrusion coming out of one of these pieces here. So kind of same principle. We'll start with our parallel line for the back of it. I'm going to connect my opposite converging line and do just a couple lines coming outwards. And then create another parallel line. And once I hit that parallel line, I'm going to go to my opposite vanishing point. And I'm not going to draw it all the way because I don't want to erase it all. Okay, and then another parallel line to make the back of it. So there's kind of a little box that's sticking out. Um, if Maybe if we did one down here, it might be a little more obvious. So let's do the same thing down here. And we're going to kind of exaggerate just a little bit more. So I think I'm going to make this a bit larger. All right, so now that I have the majority of the box made, I just need to make the top and then this back side here. So um, I don't I like seeing like that this is the back side of this box here. I want this one to end kind of similar to what I have here. So I'm thinking a little skinny one. So I'm just going to make a tick mark there so I know where to draw that line and connect my converging line. Okay, there's one, and then this will just be parallel right at that corner. There we go. So all I need to do is just erase my extra converging lines. What if I wanted this to be like bisecting it and kind of going all the way through? In that case, what I can do is continue these converging lines that I've started past this. All right, so once we have this line drawn, we're going to draw the back side by connecting this corner here with the back vanishing point. All right, so there we have kind of a bisecting shape going through here. Um, so let's do a few more cutouts just for practice. So I want to do one in here because I think this way we're actually going to see two I like the top and the bottom of the form. So I'm going to start with my line and then create my opposing converging lines. And then we'll draw our other parallel line here. Now, so here we have kind of a window. And then from this point, 
we're going to connect our corners to the opposite vanishing point to show the inside. So there we have kind of a cut in sort of a corridor so we could maybe shade the tops and bottoms here. Maybe just a little bit coming out. There we go. All right. Um, maybe we'll do one more here so we can kind of see like looking down at something that's a little thinner. So I'm going to begin by drawing my parallel lines to make the side and then converging lines for the top and bottom. And then I'll make my parallel line for the back side here. All right. Now to do the inside of this, um, what we're going to see is this corner will go to this vanishing point here. And then for the thickness, I'm actually going to use this back edge right here as a point to connect to my vanishing point. And that will kind of give me the thickness of my interior. There we go. And from there, I'm just going to stay parallel to the opening that I created. And then we can just do a little shading here to make it look a little more three dimensional. All right. So these are kind of the basic tenets of two point perspective. So drawing something kind of from a corner where it vanishes into two separate points. Thanks for watching.